Welcome to We the Village, produced by Ron Hall, and I am your host, Sharonda Allen. Today we are interviewing Miss Joanne Jefferson. Hello, Joanne, how are you today? Hi, how are you? Very good, so nice to have you today. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, yeah, so I, I have you here today as a recommendation because you do so many things. I'm one of those Renaissance women who has their hand in a lot of great things mm -hmm. to improve the community. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you about your educational background. Mm -hmm. Where were you educated? Um, I started out in Newark. I was born in Newark, and then I moved to Linden. Now I live in Montclair, New Jersey, and I went to a lot of schools, and I got my Ph.D. in business administration online. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So why did you choose to get a Ph.D.? in business administration. What was what was your passion about that particular degree? Um, because I've been in school like 27 years and it took me so long and my husband kept saying, why do you want to get your PhD when we already have our business because we have two restaurants and I have the cleaning company and he was like, what do you need with a, a degree when you already have a business? I said, well that's something that I wanted because I like to learn. I love to learn. Mm -hmm. So that would really inspire me to okay. keep going. Okay, so you're an ambassador for what organization? Well, Montclair, New Jersey chose me and my husband for being ambassador of Montclair, New Jersey because we owned our restaurant for 30 years. We've been in business for 30 years. So what does being an ambassador mean? What do you have to do? What are your responsibilities as an ambassador? Well, the ambassador, we, we got chosen to be the ambassador because we've been in business for 30 years and we opened up another business in Orange Jay's Southern Style Cafe. And I also have a cleaning company and I also have a foundation. Okay. So it's really like the people who are in business for a very long time who represent the township. So that's why we were chosen. Okay, so you talked about your, your restaurants, your foundations. Let's talk a lot more about your foundation what is the mission of the Jefferson Foundation? The mission of the Jefferson Foundation is to help the youth ages 5 through 17. We started a basketball team, and we was tutoring the kids with their homework. And then we started a, a diva show, a fashion show, to raise money for the foundation. Mm -hmm. And we, every year we give a community service award. We're giving out 101 community service award so far. And then we have five divas. We've been doing our diva show since 2013. And we get the ladies 50 and over. Mm -hmm. And we pick one winner and they represent it for that year. And each year we choose a winner. And we do that to raise the money for our scholarship program. And as of to date, we have 14 scholarship winners, and we have given out $7,000. And we're having our show coming up August the 26th at Montclair Art Museum. Is there a price for admission for your Yes, show? it's $50 to mm -hmm. come in, and we're having our, we mix in our community service award with our diva show, with our fashion show, and we're putting on two skits, Here Come the Judge, and Black Girls Lost. That's the name of the play that we're going, the skit that we're doing. Okay. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about the community award. What is the criteria for someone to win the community award? Well, I ask, I go around asking people who do nice things for the community. Would they like to accept one of my awards that we give out? And we gave out um, awards last year to the mayor of Newark, the mayor of Montclair, and the mayor of Linden because I was born in Newark, I live in Montclair, and I grew up in Linden, so I knew the mayor, so I invited them as to be one of the awards, you know, giving out the awards. And we, give, we gave out, last year we gave out 21 awards. So this year we're looking to give out about 20 awards. Whoever, you know, I invite them and whoever accept it, um, you know, that's who I give the awards to. Right, so it's based on your personal knowledge of what that person gives back to the community. Right, yeah. And how I integral go, they are. Yes, I go looking for people to give out the awards to. Right, that's yeah. beautiful. Like you, I would like <laughs> to give you an award. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gee, you thank you. I, <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I do work hard in my community. Mm -hmm. I do community service with my yeah. students. I also do service learning with them, 
where I ask them to come up with projects of their own. Mm -hmm. I, I guide them in it, but I let them look at what they want to be as a career, mm -hmm. look at their, their interests, mm -hmm. their hobbies, their talents, and mm -hmm. help them to you know, put together a service learning project where they create the service that they're going to do. They do the research. Mm -hmm. I guide them along, mm -hmm. help them to gain those uh, community partnerships and things. Mm -hmm. And it has worked out very beautifully, mm -hmm. uh, especially this school year. I helped so many East Orange kids oh, get all their required Mm -hmm. community service hours mm -hmm. that they need for graduation mm -hmm. and uh, so the seniors this year needed 10 hours the juniors are going to need a total of 20 hours the sophomores are going to need a total of 30 hours and the freshmen will need a total of 30 hours by the time they graduate so I'm, I'm I, I, I prioritize the seniors mm -hmm. but I'm still going to be working with the freshmen sophomores and juniors and then from now on the incoming freshmen will need 40 hours by the time they get to graduation, which is about 10 hours per, uh, per school year. I'll be doing community service this summer as well. We're going to mm -hmm. be doing some green stuff, so mm -hmm. I, I would uh, that would be nice. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm doing those sorts of things because yeah. I believe it's important to teach the kids civic engagement mm -hmm. and civic responsibility. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's so interesting that you brought that up. But mm -hmm. I just love talking about it because it's yeah. important and it changes the mentality of the kids. Mm -hmm. It gives them an idea about having a culture of service. Right. So that's that's important to me. Yes, you know, I could use some of your kids. You could send them to my <laughs> foundation to get their um, points or credits that yes. they do for their school. Yes. Because I'm looking for kids to do community service with my foundation. And now where, where is it located in order for them to actually get there? Well, we, we have, I use my home address mm -hmm. because I don't have a building yet. I'm looking for a building. Mm -hmm. I'm a realtor, so it's like kind of easy for me to get a building. Mm -hmm. But I haven't did that yet, but I'm looking to get into a building. But right now I do it at the Jefferson's Cafe okay. in Montclair at our, one of our restaurants. That's where we have all our practice mm -hmm. and everything there. So yeah. what's the address for that particular uh, Jefferson Cafe? It's 88 Maple Avenue in Montclair, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And like this Monday coming up, I think it's the 26th of June. Yes, this Monday. We have a rehearsal at the mm -hmm. Jefferson's Cafe. We're looking for models. We're looking for divas. Mm -hmm. We're looking for people to be in our play because we're having a play. Here come the judge. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little skit that we're doing to... Um, for the models to get dressed and well, I, I used to go to acting school in New York when I was younger so I and I've been in a couple of plays myself and I've been in a couple of fashion shows so that's like in my heart so right. now I give the well I shouldn't say the young people but the <laughs> older people an opportunity to be in the fashion show Right. And we have Tyrone Shapley. Do you know Tyrone oh, Shapley? Oh, yes, yes. He's yeah, very he, big in the fashion industry. Right. He's yes. um, he's our main designer. Matter of fact, he's our only designer okay. um, that's in our show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I try to give the chance to the seniors as well mm -hmm. as to the young people to come to the show. I mean, right. be in the show. Right. And Understood. that's how we raise our money for our... Then we give away $1,000 to the scholarship winners. At the show. Well, we announced the winner. Oh, you announced it at the I, show. I'll announce it at the show because I don't give the scholarship person the money. I pay it directly to the school because they have right. to be in college right. or some school. Mm -hmm. And then I call up the school to mm -hmm. make sure, you know. Verify that, enrollment. Yeah, <laughs> and verify enrollment mm -hmm. and make sure that they go to that school. And then I talk with them and they tell me, you know, what to do, where to send the money to. So it goes directly to them. I give them each $500 each. So, and on that line of the $500 scholarships, what is the criteria for receiving the scholarship? What do they have to do to actually get that scholarship? Well, I try to make it easy. I don't have a, like an application. Um, my committee, we decided to just for them to write in why I need a scholarship mm -hmm. and then send it to Jefferson's Foundation, mm -hmm. J-E-F-F-E-R-S-O-N, Foundation, F O U N D A T I O N, mm -hmm. at yahoo.com. Right. It has to be a 500 word essay mm -hmm. on why I need a scholarship. Right. And, I, and you have to have a um, grade point average of 2.0. That's it. Right. You know, because um, 
I look out for the needy and I look out for the people who are like struggling. Mm -hmm. But I don't want, you know, people who just get the money and don't stay in school. So I'm looking for people who really want to, you know, better themselves and keep going. And mostly I like for people, I like to help people to start a business. Right. For some reason I have that desire mm -hmm. because, um, because of me, I love to start a business and mm -hmm. I like to help people to start a business. Right. So, and also you have the Jefferson's Southern Style Cafe. Yes. What is the difference between the Jefferson's Cafe and the Southern Style Cafe? Well, it's my husband. That's his business. That's his career. And I support him. I work there 24 hours a day, okay. <laughs> seven days a week. It's no difference. It's the same thing. It's just one is located in Montclair. It's just a restaurant. And the one in Orange is a restaurant and a bar. So it's like a full service restaurant and we have live entertainment on Friday nights and Saturday nights. And we have happy hours and stuff like that. So what's the address of that? Happy it's hour 16 Orange? South Center <laughs> Street in Orange, New Jersey. Okay, that sounds great. Do you yeah. also do some of your community events at that location? No, no, because we had, we had the one in Montclair for over 30 years and the one in Orange we just got two years ago. So okay. that's kind of like new. Okay. So I didn't get I didn't get my hands in that yet, okay. but I will. <laughs> okay. But everything is mostly at the. I have all my rehearsal at the one in Montclair. Okay. So tell me about you. You mentioned that you're a realtor. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your realty career. You are into so many things. I know. And I'm like that too because. <laughs> You know, I never get bored because mm -hmm. I'm not a boring person. Right, right. Uh, and sometimes we, when we find out who we are, we mm -hmm. find that we can do so many things. Mm -hmm. So we don't just stick to one thing because there's so many things we can do well and do right, right and contribute to. And right. um, I think a lot of a lot of my stuff overlaps. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me about your realty career and how long mm -hmm. you've been into realty. Well, my first house I bought, I was 24 years old. Mm -hmm. And nobody, everybody kept telling me, what you buying the house for? You're not married. You don't have kids. I said, well, one day I'm going to get married. One day I'm going to have kids. I said, but I don't want a husband. I don't want a kids right now. Mm -hmm. I want a house. And the only person mm -hmm. that was really for me was my mom. She kept saying, yeah, you could do it. You, and everybody else told me I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So I went and I bought a house. And then I bought another house. Then I bought another house. Then I bought another house. Then I said, wait a minute, let me see if I can help other people to buy a house and tell them what they do, what to do. And then I became a realtor. Okay. And then I'd like to help people. I help them, you know, get apartments, buy houses, and, mm -hmm. you know, I tell them what to do to get a house. So you do a lot of residential realty? Right, yes. Okay. So, and so in, in that, in our community, you know, what I tell people, you know, you can't listen to those who are not doing very well. Right. You have to listen to, to those who mean the best for you, have mm -hmm. your best interest in, at heart, mm -hmm. those people who are successful. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I think it's important that we don't allow those who discourage us right. to sway our thinking and our right. activities. I tell my students all the time, mm -hmm. don't listen to the folks who you wouldn't want to trade places <laughs> with. Okay? Right. Mm -hmm. So that's who you take that advice from. And mm -hmm. I think that home ownership is very important. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what sorts of things are you doing to help people to own homes besides the real real estate are you are you doing any seminars yeah we do Home seminar ownership? first time seminar like today i went to the store to um to get my husband he lost his phone and i had to run out and get <laughs> and get him a phone so the guy at the phone place who's he's getting ready to buy a house from me mm -hmm. i told him about the seminar mm -hmm. and you know i tell people about how to start getting there first time, because now they're giving out grants. You don't even have to have money down for the house. They give you money. To, Who? Who gives you money? Well, you have to go to the seminar. Oh, and, okay. And, and they teach you what to do, and, and they're, they're the ones. The township, each township gives out grants to okay. buy a house. So you don't even need money. You just got to have a good credit score, 500 and more. Oh wow, that's not mm -hmm. that's not yeah, difficult. Yeah, <laughs> so if anybody wants to buy a house, that's what I said. Go to the seminar. I tell them whatever town they in, I'll look it up, mm -hmm. what time it is, what date, and they can go there. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, besides your cafe, 
Mm -hmm. I know um, you have a few other types of businesses. You have a cleaning service? Yes, I have sparkling clean housekeeping service. I had that for 12 years. I'm a five-star company with Home Advisor. You ever hear Home Advisor? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm a five-star company with Home Advisor. For 10 years in a row, they gave me an award out of 11,000 small companies. I'm the only one. They called me up and they congratulated me and they gave me a certificate for holding a five star for 10 years. Nice. In the surrounding 15 minutes area out of the small business that's associated with Home Advisor. And they called me up and left, me, left it on the answer machine. I said, I told my husband, I said, they said, I'm a, I was a five star for 10 years with them. Mm. I'm 11,000 people. My husband said, oh, that's not true. That's not true. So I called them up, and they said, yeah, it's true. And I was so excited. I was right. really excited. Oh, nice. Super. So super my excited. question is, mm -hmm. about how many clients do you have with your house cleaning business, and how many employees do you have? Well, right now, I, I, it's a small business because mm -hmm. I work at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I, matter of fact, I used to work for Pathmark for 43 years. Mm -hmm. And they closed. They went bankrupt. So now I'm at, at the restaurant 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seemed like it. So I, I'm a small business with um, my cleaning company. And I said, as soon as I leave my job, as soon as I retire from Pathmark, I was going to go 100% with my cleaning company, but my husband put me in the restaurant, so I'm mm -hmm. supporting him with the restaurant. So I don't get the chance to do like I want to, but with my cleaning company, it's very small. I only have five employees, okay. but I do, because I'm a realtor, so I get the chance to do foreclosure clean out. Nice. And you know, I'm always constantly doing, you know, so I can't say I have X amount of customers mm -hmm. because a foreclosure clean out might last like two weeks right and, you know so stuff like that but I'm always busy and I'm, I'm sure I mean, yes. so I like, what are you not yeah. doing and somebody's like I watch your Facebook to see what your next adventure is going to be like where is she going next yes. I was just in the mermaid parade in Coney Island uh -huh. on Saturday it was a lot of fun so uh -huh. I, I like to explore life as well right and I was asking what types of clients because as a realtor definitely you have access right. to those homes that mm -hmm. when someone's going to sell it, yep. they mm -hmm. need a company to yep. come in. Yep. People are relocating like this. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to touch anything. Mm -hmm. I just need this to be done. Mm -hmm. Those foreclosures, mm -hmm. people have to, you know, have clean mm -hmm. things cleaned out. So that's a great intertwining. Mm -hmm. And right. so when we talk about, oh, you do so much, mm -hmm. like I said, things overlap. Yes, yes it does. And it's so beneficial mm -hmm. that those sorts of things overlap that mm -hmm. way. Yes. You know? Yes, it does. It mm -hmm. really does. So I thank God for everything. I know um, all my blessings come from him. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian. I go to Christ Church in Montclair. I've been a member for 22 years, wow. a faithful member from them. So I know everything that I'm blessed with, I know Jesus gave it to me. Beautiful, beautiful. Amen. Um, I, I also know that you <laughs> participate in some of these other things like Primerica, Mary Kay, uh, Melaleuca, yes. can you tell me about some of those things? Well, Mary Kay, I've been with them for like 42 years since I was 19 years old. Wow. And for something about Mary Kay, I just love. I guess it's because it's a Christian organization also. Is it? Yes, and they okay. all believe in Jesus. So that's what really made me stick with them. Mm -hmm. Because all they talk about is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And so do I. Okay. So I'm a Jesus, please. As we say, Jesus freaks. Right. Um, so the the Melaleuca, tell me mm -hmm. about that, though. Well, I just joined it with my uh, my friend, one of my divas, mm -hmm. Cynthia Edwards. She's so in love with Melaleuca. Mm -hmm. The cleaning product is mm -hmm. so good, so wonderful. And so I just took it on a couple of weeks ago. So, okay. Yeah, I brought the product, so I'm getting ready to use it. Uh, we used it, me and Cynthia, she's one of my um, workers at the house cleaning company, right. and we did a stove, and we made it sparkling clean. Like I said, <laughs> all those different things overlapping. <laughs> right. So you, got, you have access yeah. to this product, yeah. you have access to the homes, right. you have access to the cleaning company. Right. So everything ties in. People say, you're doing too much. No, yeah. there's no such thing as doing too much. Yeah, it all ties in. Yes, because what, I, I'm a history teacher mm -hmm. um, amongst a lot of other things, being a mm -hmm. TV show host. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, a singer, everything. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things is that what I know, the people who are in the books, mm -hmm. 
those people we study, especially those African Americans that we study, they mm -hmm. have a long list of a lot of wonderful things that mm -hmm. they've done throughout their lives. Mm -hmm. And as, as a child, I always say, well, I'm, this is what I have to be. When you grow up, you have to do this and do that mm -hmm. and explore all of your talents and skills mm -hmm. and abilities and mm -hmm. travel and do these things and you know be a part of organizations and mm -hmm. make an impact. Mm -hmm. I thought it was normal. I didn't know that everybody didn't do that. Yeah, they I didn't don't. know. So I, 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 I'm grateful and like the, mm -hmm. the referral that I got to bring you on my show, yes. she's like, oh, Sharonda, she does a million things like you do. So, mm -hmm. And I think it's important to highlight people right. who do those things. And we can't wait till we read an obituary to right. talk about what people have done. We right. have to highlight them and, you mm -hmm. know, publicize it, put it out there. And I think your, your foundation mm -hmm. does wonderful work. I love any organization mm, yeah, that too. helps to support education yes. with scholarships. Mm -hmm. You know, you're engaging with the... With, with adults, mm -hmm. you know, giving people things to do and mm -hmm. the arts and the community, you know, that's mm -hmm. important. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. like I said, I'm big on the community yeah. and stuff, so yeah, that's important. Too. So you talked about um, your nonprofit with the basketball. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you mentioned like two teams. What do you yeah. have going on with teams? Well, in the summer, I usually, my son usually helped me with the basketball with the kids because he has a whole bunch of kids and we usually put on a tournament oh, for wow. the summer. Mm -hmm. And this year, I'm, I'm trying so hard to get ladies 50 and over mm. to be in like a basketball, like a boot camp for a whole week. I want to do really good basketball, running up and back and forth down the court. Oh, my goodness. So I'm trying. And so far, I have five ladies. I'm looking for 12, 50 and over, just for exercise. It's like a boot camp. Well, don't do too much of a boot camp. <laughs> do a nice little slow warm-up first because you don't want... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, but so. so far I have five ladies. I'm looking for 12. Okay. So I've been trying to do this, but everybody's like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. But I want to do it like a, like, a, like a exercise thing. Okay, because, you know, you know basketball is a little rigorous, you know, kind of <laughs> running up and down the court, dipping and moving. And, yeah, you know. but it keeps you in shape. It keeps you moving. I mean, it does, but, you know, 15 old, you know, sometimes people get knees. Like, you know, well, I'm 60, I'm 61, so I'm hoping that a lot of people are in shape like me. So you I play can, basketball? Yeah, I would. Oh, <laughs> do you play or are you trying to get into playing? I I. Right now, I don't, but I used to when I was younger. So oh, nice. Okay. That's why I'm. So you're trying I to be still, like I'm yeah. a track star. I run. Yeah, that's I what raised I'm saying. some kids yeah. at my school. Yeah. Some high school kids on the track team. Yeah. Three of them, and I beat all three. And their coach yeah. said, "You should be ashamed because <laughs> you let this grown <laughs> well, woman well, beat you." <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So, but, but so it, it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. That's you know. why I I want to do it because I used to do it. Yes. And I just in school, and I've been out of school a long, long time. Okay. So I, I, I feel like I still can do it. Well, that's good. I like, I like your yeah. you know, aspiration. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're trying. Yeah. So you talked about um, all the things you do. Mm -hmm. You have a radio show. Yes, I do. What is the name of your radio show? Amazing Women of Excellence. Okay. Now, on what platform is that radio show? How can someone listen to that? Well, it's on 620 AM. It's a Christian radio show. Mm -hmm. And I'm on every Sunday night from 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. And you have to call in at 718-303-8844. And it's a talk show to inspire people to start their business. Well, last week we had um, my one of my divas, Cynthia Edwards, we were praying for her because mm -hmm. it's a Christian show. We talk mm -hmm. about Jesus, talk mm -hmm. about how good he is, how great he is, how wonderful, magnificent, and all of that. So mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't have to hold back on nothing about Jesus. And we just talk. And the guy, Marvin Cratch, was supposed to come to, tonight, I had told you. Mm -hmm. He's a pastor, and he mm -hmm. has all these wonderful, he's looking for it people in art, museum, and filmmaking, and TV shows, and he's just trying to put a whole bunch of people together to network mm -hmm. to put them on Netflix. So he's... Mm -hmm, to he's do what on Netflix? A TV program. What, what's, what is it, a reality show, or no, is it a he, scripted show? No, he's looking for everybody to have their own show. So oh, I'm really? going to have my own show, too. I'll be on TV, too with him. Oh, nice. And yes. what is going to be the format of your show? What is well, going to be my show talking? is going I'm to, I'm tying my radio show into my TV show. So it's going to be like this, a talk show. 
So it's going to be a talk show, and is it going to be like a, about religion, things yes. like that? Yes, yeah, and it's okay. going to try to help people. What I like to do, help people start a business and education, okay. mm -hmm. getting on scholarships. So that's what I like really trying to focus on with my radio show. So I'm going to, like you said, <laughs> it's going to be a TV show. Yeah. Ladies, you know. It's going to be the same time and everything, right. but it's going to be aired on TV mm -hmm. and on the radio. Wow. Okay. So I didn't know. I guess he's got some new deal because Netflix is a newer thing that we have nowadays. Yeah. It hasn't been out mm -hmm. like forever, mm -hmm. but uh, I guess that's a new type of format, mm -hmm. a new type of programming yes. that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted you great. to meet him tonight, and I, he didn't come. Well, there would be other days. <laughs> yeah, I uh, really can network want to... because mm -hmm. yes, I do this show here, mm -hmm. and I am not opposed to doing more shows. Yeah, yes. um, I, I, I think it's important that we have a narrative put out there because sometimes when we deal with the media, mm -hmm. they have certain people, things like, uh, what's mm -hmm. his name? I can't even remember his name, but he's he hosts everything. Who, Why is Steve he Harvey? No, not Steve. Well, I oh. like Steve Harvey. Huh? <laughs> Every um, time I turn on the TV, I see Steve Harvey. Oh, he's Harvey. got about five shows on <laughs> TV more. right now. <laughs> or more. Yes. Um, I can't think of the guy's name right mm -hmm. now, but he was doing a taking over the Dick Clark uh, New Year's Eve oh. celebration, but mm -hmm. he's everywhere, and I don't mm -hmm. even think he has a person. Like Steve, mm -hmm. I don't mind watching Steve Harvey mm -hmm. because he's got a big personality. Yes. But this guy is just like, yeah, okay, uh, 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 and I'm like, okay. If he could do it, I could do it. Oh, I know I know, I can. I'm, that's, a, uh, that's not my barometer, but he, yeah, he's just not as excitable and, oh, you know, like Steve engaging. Harvey, right? Like mm -hmm. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey yeah. is Wonderful. I met him, and mm -hmm. I, my daughter actually won the Steve Harvey Disney Dreamers Academy Award back in oh, 2014. Oh, okay. And she sounded amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, we were able to meet with him. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne, my daughter, got to be friends with Steve Harvey's son. Oh, okay. And Steve Harvey was just so amazing to all yeah. of us. We were on the Steve Harvey Morning Show down mm -hmm. there. Oh, um, we yeah. got a chance to be part of the studio audience. Mm -hmm. And it was a great experience. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I love that we are able to get into media and, mm -hmm. and share our talents and mm -hmm. share what we know, what we mm -hmm. do. And, um, you know, that's important. And I'm so mm -hmm. glad to have you on my show, Miss Well, I'm glad Joanne to be Jefferson. here on your show. Yes. And I have to invite you on my show. Yes. And then when I get my TV show, I have to invite you on that too. Yes, you do. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I do. So, I, you know, this is what we, we have to network. I, right. I hope that the young people understand that you have to network with people, right. not just sit around and talk, mm -mm. but talk and intermingle, learn things, build, and this is for adults too, I'm saying young people, mm -hmm. but uh, build and, you know, gain information, ideas, learn, understand how to do things, how to put things together. And I'm just so grateful for people like Joanne Jefferson. Yes, because I'm starting, um, well, I shouldn't say starting. I wrote a book. It should be out August 26th mm -hmm. on how to start a business. Yes. I have an alphabet book out on mm -hmm. EJ's Learning Center. That's my son's name, mm -hmm. EJ. And we have, like I said, I help tutoring the kids with my son, but he moved away to Virginia. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't get as many kids as I did when he was around. Right. Because you know how when you have a kid, they Everybody, kids. yeah, kids they draw. Oh, yeah, we had yes. a bunch of kids, but since he's older now, it's it's, so it's a little harder for me to, you know, I got to beg him and knock down doors That's and fine. drag, drag I, him I, by I the neck. I can bring him in. Oh, My mother good. called me a Viper the Kid Whisperer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just want to thank Joanne Jefferson for coming on the show, mm -hmm. and thank you all for tuning in to We the Village.